am going to head out and run. I thought we would vlog today. Um, I actually planned on getting up this morning and making breakfast, but that didn't work out. So, um, this will be my second day running this week, which is not an accomplishment for normal folks, but for me it is. So, I have paint in my hair. Well, I'm all ready to run now, but the FedEx guy come and I had to wait on him to leave and Avalon's outside and I can't run with little miss out here because she'll come in the road with me and we don't allow that. So I'm trying to coax her back in the house, but the FedEx guy brought one of Lily's gifts and it was one that I bought very early last week and it was supposed to be here the next day and it just kept getting put off and I was starting to get stressed about it. Her birthday is still, her birthday's still five days away, but I mean, it just kept getting pushed back and it wasn't moving and whatnot. We finally got it today and the box has seen some things. I mean, it's got that going for it. It was like a beat up and it looked like a forklift fork had been stabbed through it. I was a little bit worried about it. So I went ahead and opened it up and it's fine. Thankfully, thank goodness. Um, the gift is completely fine. So, and it would have broke too. It was very, it's a fragile gift, not like super fragile. It was fragile, but thankfully all is good with that. Now I gotta get this girl in the house. Um, John, that might be him, hopefully not. Anyways, John, um, it's Saturday the day I'm recording this. Um, he is, he went down to the field to work, took the skid steer. He didn't have much diesel. So he said he wouldn't be gone long. So I was hoping to get this done before he got back because we got some errands to run. I'm going to Hobby Lobby, Aaron. Um, it's totally your fault, but I'm going to Hobby Lobby. And yeah, need to look around. I need a couple more decorations for Lily's birthday. Like a, you, if you're new here, you don't know this, but we don't have parties, but I do decorate and do all the like fun stuff. We have like a little mini party for us six. So I gotta get stuff for that. And thinking we'll check Hobby Lobby for that while we're there. That's not why I'm going. Well, we're going to be honest. Um, because I've already got some of the stuff. She wants another Baby Yoda birthday. So what she had last year. Um, it's actually, my videos don't do good. Like, YouTube doesn't love me. I don't know why, but maybe I'm boring. But it's one of the better videos. It just, it's always, like, slowly grow, grew, grew. She wanted another Baby Yoda party. Because that's, she loves it. So, and that's what we're doing. She just laid down like she ain't got nowhere to go. Nothing to do here. But yeah, I'm going to try to get this run in. Got to get this girl in the house. I only run with one earbud in because I want to hear if I'm getting attacked or ran over or kidnapped. Adult napped. Something like that. So, I mean, not that anybody would want me. But you never know. You never know. The world's crazy. So, yeah, got to get this dog in the house. She's looking at me. And I'm wearing my favorite shoes. I don't get to wear them much because where this one's white. Granted, my other pair is white, but these are my favorites. And I worry about them getting stained up. I've not treated them yet. I have like special tree shoe, not tree. I have, I have special shoe stuff to protect them from stains, but I've not got to do it yet. And I worry about them. So get to enjoy them today because it's not rainy or wet. So. Okay, so got the running part done. I still got a four or five minute cool down to do. Um, but yeah, got it done. <sighs> I'm thinking, I've been talking to my friend Stevie. She already knows about the struggles I go through. She goes through similar ones. And, um, yeah, she, I wasn't telling anyone about me, like, doing this again. Like, try, I had to put my hair up, by the way. It's too hot. Um, but I figured that... Nope. Mm -mm. Um, I figured that, you know, I often quit because I know I can. I mean, don't we all? And I figure why not just share the struggles in case people are interested. So I think we might start like a whole wellness series. I don't know. Um, but I do know that it's time for me to stop allowing excuses to to get in my way to stop me so 
Um, yeah, I think we're going to do a whole wellness series. We'll see. Go ahead and turn around. Um, but I have been slacking, but trying, if that makes sense. Isn't it beautiful back here? Um, but I hadn't weighed in weeks because I felt that I was freeing myself from that. And when I got on the scale this morning, just spur of the moment decided, you know, what could it hurt? Well, it hurt a lot, a lot of my feelings. But um, yeah, I cried when I seen it and it wasn't necessarily the number. I mean, it was the number for sure. I weigh the most that I have ever weighed in my adult life, in my ever life. I would have been like the world's biggest baby. But uh, yeah, I didn't really cry didn't really cry over that I cried because of how far I've let myself fall and um, yeah I decided it's time to really take control not just a, if I feel like it today kind of thing or try for half the day and then fail for the rest so I don't know I'll probably document it here if you're interested in it I'm glad but if not mainly for me we'll see I'm just hoping I don't quit again because I always quit and I'm tired of quitting but yeah I was rambling I don't even know what I was talking about car came scared me so but yeah I think I know I'm definitely getting back on track and not gonna allow myself to fall off and stay off um, but that being said I know that life happens and I'm not gonna let dieting stop me from living but I'm not gonna let me I'm not gonna let living stop me from living either if that makes sense so yeah we're gonna do the same and so I think we might start a once a week once a month I don't know once every two weeks once every once in a while anyways um, kind of like update where I share how things are going maybe share my workouts my food meal prep all that stuff because I think I want to meal prep some stuff so that I always have stuff ready um, I'm not I'm not going on any kind of like restrictive diet like keto or anything like that because that just doesn't work for me and yeah so we got a workout done got something in my eye probably because when I'm walking I mess with weeds the entire time and Going ahead in the house, get cleaned up a little bit. Fanning doesn't okay. help with sunglasses. Yeah. So this is what I got out so far. Thank it, sack. Talk her out, please. I don't know what it is. It's dentist sticks. They're cute. Some they might they'll probably like those. What else is there? Make sure the address ain't showing. Bex sent the puppies some treats from the UK. So, no one wanted to go ahead and open them. Go ahead. Bex can send you some treat treat. Do you want a treat? Do you want a treat? That's my card. Yeah, I'll read that off the camera. And. Oh, says there. I don't know. They're okay. I don't know. Oh, they're cute. Is there one more? And Chicken and duck flavor. So she sent these to the Puppuccinos. This is another package I got today. I ordered this because of my friend Lacey and Jenna. They both was talking about it. What do I do with you? And throw it in the trash. I don't need her address. I got it. And um, they both have talked about it recently. Lacey just talked about it, I guess it's beginning of middle of last week. So I jumped on Insta no child. I jumped on Amazon and bought me a set of them. So we're gonna try these out probably in a cleaning video pretty soon. But Bex sent the puppuccinos some treats. We're gonna have to let them try them out. People often talk come here. People always talk about the dogs wanting to meet them, I guess. This is Herschel. Most people's met him. And yeah, most people's met Herschel. Yeah. I'm pretty, but he needs a haircut. And then this is Will Will. Will Will. His name is Will, but I call him Will Will. And this is Abby. Avalon's actually her name. 
Avalon and Tessa. Come here, Tess. Tess is our skittish dog. She like has anxiety and she's scared of everything. And then Barker. Bark, bark. Hey, bark, bark. I think I have all nicknames for all of them, pretty much. And this is Barker. We call all Paisley the long haired. Yeah, we call Paisley Pepe. All the long haired dogs need haircuts. And we call but, Kobe Kobe. Yeah. Um, Kobe and Paisley's not in here right now. I'll try. I'll try to get a little bit of video of them. I just threw my hair up a little bit because it's too hot. I'm going to go out and sit on the porch and drink a protein shake. <coughs> Choke to death. <coughs> but you want to try, on, try some of the treats? You want to give them to them? Yeah, so how many do we just have? Just give them one each. We've got five in here. So one more. Yeah, you can count to five, boo-boo. Come on, Archie. You want a treat? Get down. Just go and treat, treat, Barker. Okay. The rug, everything's a mess. The house is always a mess. Wheel, wheel. Did you give Abby one? And Tessa. Abby. Is he good, baby? They like to run off to their little hidey hose and eat. Yeah. All right, I can go ahead and share the letter because she didn't write anything personal in it. So, um, but look how pretty this is. It says a letter from Bex. She loves Nightmare Before Christmas, as does Wendy. I think Nolan really likes it, too. Okay. Really and then like it just says, Tony, just some little treats for your beautiful puppies. I didn't want to leave them out, Bex. And that is just, like, the sweetest thing ever. I love that she thought of the puppers and sent them some treats. So, Wendy is the one that's, like, all about giving the dogs treats. She just loves doing it. She's the one that makes sure, like, she stays on top of us not running out for the dog treats. So she will really like these. I think she's still being lazy this morning and she's still asleep. I'm going to sit out here on the front porch. I'm in the back right now because I ran in John's sunglasses because I couldn't find none of mine. Um, I have a ton. I just, I don't take care of them. That's one reason I have terrible hair. <laughs> um, but that's one reason I always just buy them at like Five Below or Walmart or something because I don't take care of sunglasses. So John takes care of everything. I don't. But anyways, I really liked running in those. So most of mine are like heavier and like metal and you know not that i could find any of them anyways but hopefully he doesn't lose those because i like running in them so and i can't stand running in hat hats uh my head gets hot and i just i look pretty rough but my head gets hot and i can't stand it so i have to have sunglasses especially if it's sunny uh, because i'm squinting and i don't want to make any more creases in my face than I already got. So I'm gonna sit here on the porch and drink a protein shake. I found this at Dollar General. It is, it's just one of the 11 and a half ounce bottles and the sucker costs $2.50. Like that's ridiculous. But I found this, they had some of the caramel ones. Hold on, I'm gonna put you down. My arms are weak. Um, but they had some of the caramel ones but I could not bring myself to pay $2.50 for one caramel shake. So I did see this and bought it because of Laura, my friend's uh, small, our small town, small stuff, big family. I got too many friends. <laughs> not really. Um, I love my friends. I'm thankful for all of them. Um, but anyways, she asked me if I'd tried this and I'm pretty sure I've tried it before, but I couldn't like exactly say, yes, I have. It's probably in a video somewhere if I have. Um, but when I saw this, I picked up this, and I also picked up, I'm vlogging on my phone today, so I got a notification, and I have, like, ADHD or something, self-diagnosed. But anyways, proof, I guess, um, they had this, like, up at the checkout at Dollar General last night, because we had to run in there and grab cheese. Yeah, we went in there and grabbed cheese. Um, I grabbed other stuff, you know me. But they had these up at the counter, and I grabbed one of these and one of the cinnamon roll. That was the longest story ever just to tell you that I grabbed a cinnamon roll one as well. Because I saw them online and I was like, mm, that might be good. But I wasn't sure about it. Kind of scared. I've not tried it yet. I'll probably, I'll let you know. But I couldn't exactly remember it. It's good. Premier Protein is one of the best. It doesn't, it's not overly protein. That makes sense. So, anyway, I'm going to sit here, drink this, enjoy this probably get on Instagram because that's Instagram and YouTube that's, 
that's what my life revolves around as far as like social media internet world goes so um yeah just gonna sit here and relax wait for john to get home i'm hoping that i don't do myself dirty by putting my hair up like this but it's too hot and i I'm hoping to just be able to wear it down. Hoping that having it just barely up like this doesn't make it greasy because I have thin hair and it's a struggle. All right. I think this whole video is just going to be me talking a ton. But, um, I'm not, my heart's been heavy. And last night was a bad night and I woke up this morning and it's even worse. So that's just, I'm on edge. Um, so I guess y'all are my therapy, so I hope you enjoy me talking a lot because I have a feeling that it's going to be a lot of it today, so. And then I really need to get some water. I've not been doing good on water. My face lets me know I've not been doing good on water because I always break out if I'm not drinking much water. And this last week I've been struggling with water, so I'm going to try to fix that today. I think we're going to go to TJ Maxx. My niece's birthday is Monday. Um... And I need to go, I always give them money. They're like older, she's turning 14. But it's just easier to give money to the older kids, especially when you don't really, you don't know exactly what they like and they're not like overly talkative and don't tell you exactly what they want. Um, so I like to give money, but I also like to have a little bit of a personal gift. So I'm gonna go to TJ Maxx, see if we can find her a little something. Um, and. Yeah, so we'll probably bring you along for that. Kobe Grace, you looking rough this morning. Laziest little dog we own, huh? Yeah. You don't need to go outside and potty? You don't need to go potty? You don't go potty? Come on. Come here. Pie Pie. Pie's going. Come here, Pie Pie. Here's your Pie Pie. Hey, baby. I'm somewhere in the middle. Try to find myself again But life is one big riddle All the future and what's been Cause it's the way it goes And I will never know Why you let me go Look to the left, look to the right Nothing can stop me in the night Like I am leaving all the bad stuff And trying to remember I know it's good if I'm alone I got it, I got it But your purse matches your shirt. And I guess you pretty much just took over my shoes. Right? Yeah, that's my class right and we have from you, maybe, right? Got we hush. All right, we're home. I thought I would go ahead and just show you a little bit of... The dogs are always extra crazy when we first get here. Okay, I think they're shut up. But I figured we'd show you everything we got. We just went to TJ Maxx, Hobby Lobby, and Walmart. I had to run in Walmart. To get a cord for Jonathan. He already ran off with it, but he needed a cord for, for his computer. Um, but I figured we'd go ahead and show you the little bit of stuff that we did get today. Okay. This is, is it the lighting terrible? Maybe, I don't know. Um, this is what we got at Hobby Lobby. The girls saw this and really liked it. It was cute, so we brought it home with us. It was $7 with 40% off, so it was cheap. It was fine. Um, and then I wanted some more of these little bags, like I was talking about earlier. I give my nieces um, money for their birthday, but I always like to have a little something, so I needed some more little bags. I've got some brats upstairs, but I wanted more of like pastel colors because my niece's card I got was like a pastel pink color, so I thought they'd be cute to have the bag kind of matching. So I got that, and then I also got this because I thought it would look good in the pink bag or maybe one of the other ones. I don't know, maybe the purple if the color's not going to exactly match with her birthday card. So I got that, and then I've been looking for one of these since I watched Stevie's video where she made donuts a while back. And I haven't been able to find one. I found this at Hobby Lobby for $4. So I grabbed that. 
where we was, um, I got this to make a decal for Lily's hamster cage. She's wanting me to put one, uh, make her one that's got their names on it. So I grabbed that. And then for her birthday, I found these metallic silver balloons, balloons selection at TJ Maxx, no, wrong place. The balloon selection at Hobby Lobby and Walmart let me down. I'm hoping tomorrow we're going to a different Walmart, hoping they have some balloons for me. Um, if not, we'll just have to go with colors or something, but I did get these metallic silver ones. I thought they would look cute with her theme, as well as these just black paper fans. Then I got this mint green for her gifts, and I bought this for the twins' birthday because it's just in a few weeks as well. So, got that. And then from TJ Maxx, I went in there to find my niece some earrings. They didn't have nothing that I wanted. But we went in there a couple of weeks, maybe a couple of months ago, looking for jeans for Lily because she is like the most picky person ever mm. when it comes to blue jeans. I bought her some from Old Navy, but she said they're itchy. So, pokey. Whatever. These Indica Rain, that is her favorite jeans. She literally has one pair of pants that she wears because she doesn't like anything else. And they are this brand. So, when we saw these, we're hoping that she'll like them just as good. And then these was made very similar they're not quite as soft but they're made similar these are called blue spice i think but those 13 a piece so we grabbed her those because she needed jeans and these are also the size up from the ones that she's wearing now and then i saw this i didn't need it but he was four dollars and he was super cute so i got that for myself this little coffee cup oh you didn't see it because you wasn't with me right he says happy halloween and it's a pug and a pumpkin pumpkin right and then at Walmart, we ran, in for, we ran in for Jonathan's cord, but of course, I checked the birthday stuff. Cord? Cord. This, these mint color, it's the only reason I bought these. I don't know, I might have to end up using all of them because my kids think if you don't have balloons, it's not a birthday. So, yeah. we'll make it work. Might even have black upstairs from Wendy's. But my kids always like to play with balloons afterwards, so who knows what we got. Um, I found this for myself. It's just a PJ outfit, but I thought it would be nice and comfy and then something to look a little bit better when I'm doing cleaning videos and stuff. I don't know. I got it because I liked it. It was $12. I didn't even get this out, but the girls needed a mouthwash and then Wendy wanted some of this hand soap, so she got that. This is just the stuff to make Lily's birthday cake because we was back there. I thought about it. I went ahead and grabbed it. Um, under here is stuff that I can't show right now. And then these, no, we didn't. We'll have to remember tomorrow. These are my favorites. I didn't need to buy these because I already had some, but I like to eat these before a workout. Um, so I got those. And then I did, I picked up these as well because I thought I might be able to add these to oatmeal. I thought that would be good, so I got those. Got these for Lily's cake as well. I'll just use the white and the mint colored ones, but got those and then I also got these huh oh you weren't talking to me and then they finally had put out more protein I went ahead and just bought a whole back a whole box of the quest because I forgot that I used to really like these so I grabbed those instead of premiere they did have premiere though but just grabbed the quest ones this is actually a little bit cheaper um, and then I just saw this little purse for $17 I got a big old purse and I've realized that I'm the kind of person that it doesn't matter the size of my purse, I'll fill it up. So I can have this little one and be just fine or I can have a huge one and then have to be carrying around 50 pounds. So I got that. And then this is what I had to get for my niece. I just wanted something simple that I knew that she would like. And they didn't have nothing at TJ Maxx. So got these for $15. And then we saw these as well. I thought these would work in our like Starbucks cups. And they're cute. So, I think these was $5. All right. So, I guess this video is pretty much just going to be a chat with me because we ain't doing nothing. And we got pizza for lunch while we was out. So, I won't be cooking. I ate one and a half pieces of pizza. Um, because I'm not doing a super strict diet, I am going to start tracking my calories and such. But I'm not, not start, I did today, start tracking my calories and such. Um, but I'm not going to do super strict. My main goes are... Completely forgot, phased out what I was saying. Oh, my main goes are calories and protein. 
so i'm not going to stress protein but i am trying to do high protein um so i'll probably just make something boring for dinner probably some broccoli and chicken breast or something um and everybody else will have leftover pizza so yeah that's pretty much what this video is going to be i guess just me talking about yet again um that i'm trying to take control of my health and it's it's not just about how i look children anyways lily's want me to sh wanting to show me that she tried on her pants um what was i saying oh i'm not only doing it to look better even though that is an issue for me um if i don't feel good i don't look good and it definitely affects my marriage i guess we're going without being too um personal the dog scared me to death i forgot i let her out with me um but it's not john's end of it it's definitely just mine um so yeah we're just gonna leave it at that if you know it's just a body image has a lot to do with more than just looking in a mirror and thinking you're pretty at least it does for me um i just if i don't feel good i don't put no effort in to anything my looks anything and um it just makes me feel like a slob so just i don't take care of myself if i'm not feeling good and i don't feel good if i'm not taking care of myself so them two things go together and i know i'm gonna have people saying you look fine and i appreciate that but i'm a big believer and this is something that i always tell my friends you know that i talk to about stuff like this if you don't feel it you don't see it you don't feel it so um you know you can have people telling you all day long that you're beautiful and you know all that stuff but i don't know it's a lot when you don't when you don't see it yourself so yeah mentally i've just been struggling not just with that that actually well hasn't been a huge issue until just recently um because i would i have been trying for a while but i would like i part-time try that's my thing i will halfway do it and halfway not or some days i'll do really good until it's late in the evening and then i'm just like eh, and i eat whatever or just do whatever um and it's been hard for me with making sure i have videos here every two days and then uploading on the new cleaning channel trying to get it going and i don't just want to throw videos together for either channel so it's a lot um and it's not it's not bad but it's just a lot so between that and just our world um i feel like i'm carrying a lot and then july the last few days um the issues with myself have got stronger and then this morning for some reason last night it was really bad like i was barely thinking about it yesterday but um it kept me up all night long thinking about m the way I feel about myself. And I don't want to go into detail because I can't stand people to feel sorry for me. It's a huge thing for me. Um, but I also refuse to come on here and be fake. And um, that's not what I'm about. And I, I think about this often how, you know, I watch, I have other people that I watch often. And um, how they're always just so positive and, you know, you never hear of their hardships. And I was thinking, do I want to be one of those people that come onto my platform and share negativity? But, you know, yes, I do because I'm real and I share everything with you all. So, not everything. I don't share everything. Um, but I share a lot of stuff and I'm not going to come on here and be fake and act like I'm happy with how I look or feel or you know, just everything in life, because I'm not, and I refuse to lie, I don't, I don't lie on here, um, it is, you get the truth, and so, um, yeah, I've been struggling really bad, and then the image issues just seemed like they've got really bad over the last few days, last night I barely slept, which is a huge deal for me, because I'm a sleeper, um, and then I just woke up this morning, and I just, for whatever reason, decided that, you know, I needed to weigh, and that's when I just really, it was like, I stepped back, and I was like, okay, girl, you know, you have to do something, and it's not about, it's not only about the way that I look, I'm tired of being tired, so, and then 
I have been having, you know, just the world is crazy and angry and confusing and, um, I carry stuff that I shouldn't a lot of times and that's just how I'm built and I'm learning that compassion is just something that I carry more of than most people and it can be a burden but I think it's also a blessing um so that alone is already a lot to carry and just it's just everything but yeah I'm just rambling um there's a lot that I want to say but so much that I don't so I think we're just going to leave it at that. Um, if you're interested in seeing my 100th millionth try at this thing, um, I guess let me know. I'll probably record it anyways, just for myself. Um, you know, it's, it's okay to start something and fail over and over again. I am proof of that. But I'm also proof from way back when... That it takes one time to fully commit to it and be able to do it. So, you never know when that one time is going to be. And if you don't start all the failed times, how will you ever, how will you ever get there? So, it is what it is. Um, I have to go in here and get some editing done. And then I think I might go ahead and film a cleaning video tonight. I got some pink stuff. Like, that's literally the name of it that I ordered. I think I already showed it earlier. I don't know. It's been a day full of stuff video edited and stuff by then so yeah i think we're gonna close it out here this is pretty much just me sitting and talking for who knows how long but it is what it is um i don't know so i guess we will see you all the next time thanks for watching and as always remember to show grace be content and live blessed bye guys